Ski TV here at the National Snow Show in Birmingham, NEC, and uh, I have my special guest in the studio. It's Jem Rhodes from Powdermad.com. And Jem, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jeff. That's brilliant. It's great to be here. Yeah, brilliant to see you. Now, we, I was having a chat with you last night uh, at the drink session here, and you were telling me about all the great things that Powder Mad offers. You've got heli ski, you've got tours. Tell us about a few of the things Powder Mad offers. Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, we, we, we have a variety of different things, from uh, ski touring in the Alps, in the French Alps, to uh, cat skiing in, uh, in the Ukraine. Uh, we go out of uh, Dragobrat in the Ukraine. But we've even got heli trips uh, going on in Nepal, uh, we're doing some heli stuff from the South Annapurna out of uh, Pokhara. But we're also doing uh, Kamchatka um, uh, this year as well. That, and if you don't know where Kamch Kamchatka is, it's opposite uh, Alaska. You've got Alaska and you've got the Bering Sea. And we've got a lodge there where we're going to be doing some heli skiing there too. Um, we're also operating out of Sochi as well. And we've got a great trip, uh, absolutely super trip actually, out of Georgia. Uh, which uh, we're looking forward to incredibly. And we want to see you there too, Jeff. Oh, we, we want to get out there with a couple of UK celebrities uh, come out and see you guys. And now, Jem Rhodes from powdermad.com. I mean, let's zero in on one, Georgia. A lot of people have never been there. They don't know what it's all about. Tell us a bit about it. Okay, well, this is a different world, you know. Um, and when we're talking about a country that um, it's, um, uh, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's off the Black Sea. Um, when you're out there skiing, um, you, you feel like you, you, you're a pioneer as far as um, the ski world is, and you are, you know, because not many people are, are out there, especially um, uh, Europeans. Um, so you might be walking down the, the, the little village there, and there'll be chickens running around, you know, kids running around, etc. But then we're gonna go very sophisticated, and we're gonna go heli skiing. And we're skiing some gigantic peaks out there. You know, around us are peaks of up to um, you know 5,000 meters, um, and some serious powder, some some serious skiing. Um, it's a great fun. If you like culture and you like skiing, um, you know, and you you like that kind of mix of things, that's what you get in essentially. It's unbelievable. I've heard I've heard all the stories, but it's just incredible experience out there isn't it and 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 uh, what about the other places Sochi sounds interesting too I mean it's been on the map since the Olympics but uh, yeah amazing place. Well, I think the, the, the one the one place I'd like to sort of focus on um, is uh, one one area that people um, don't know of is is the Ukraine um, and we are we're skiing in an old um, ski village um, called Dragobat uh, it's a very interesting place to get to we have to take uh, an old Russian uh, military 4x4 truck to get up to the, uh, the village. Um, and this truck runs like a bus uh, up and down. Uh, but it's the only way up there because there's no ma man-made road. Um, and once we're up there, we're, we're cat skiing. So we're in a, a converted peace basher um, and we'll be accessing the, uh, the, uh, the mountains around there. Uh, it's a lot of fun as well. Uh, we normally have a party of about 15 of us. Um, and we do have a little party too, Jeff. <laughs> well, just the journey up there, forget the skiing, just the journey getting there must be a whole experience within itself. Oh yeah, I mean, you, you, you truly feel like a pioneer, you know? Um, and once you arrive there and we, we, get, we get you booked into the hotel, uh, the hotel staff are, are really impressed that, you know, we've got some, uh, some Europeans uh, uh, experiencing their mountains. So it's great and they want to talk to you, they want to get to know you. Um, and um, uh, they want to give you a vodka now and again as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the hospitality must be incredible. Oh, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it is. It, it, it's uh, what I call off the clock. Yeah. yeah. You know, that that hospitality is is part of the culture of these people, isn't it? Just to be super friendly, super nice to foreign people. Yeah, I mean they're they're really impressed. You know, we're we're going out to some uh, very odd locations that you know don't that don't normally see tourism. So. They are super impressed that, they're, that, that you're there to experience what they've got uh, and for them to show you what they've got, you know, and it's great uh, and they love it. And they, you know, they may not speak great English, but, you know, we, uh, we, we do get by and there's a lot of hand signaling and, you know, but, you know, we get by. And not to mention the value for money, it must be absolutely incredible there. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, if you're in Ukraine, a beer is 80p, you know. Uh, for a pint. For a pint, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a decent point as well. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, and um, yeah, I mean that particular trip, we put everything together for, for the clients um, for 1,500 pounds. Um, and that includes all the food, transfers, um, and the, uh, the, the guides, we have two guides per trip. Um, and we, you know, we have a super time, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I know that the heli ski experience is just just amazing, and uh, do you um, you use local helicopters, local pilots? They all know the area very, very well. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I mean that, that that's that's kind of crucial, really. Um, so if we're in Kamchatka, for example, um, we we need the local guys, you know, to to fly the. Uh, we use um, uh, MI8, the, the, the big helicopters out there. Uh, it takes two pilots. Um, you get 20 guys on on, on, a, on on one of these. That's a serious machine. It's a serious machine. Yeah, it's very robust. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like the old uh, Soviet Army type thing. Is there's big experience to go on one of those things? Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean these things are, are, are massive. You know, are massively powerful. Um, and we always have um, uh, very highly qualified guides that uh, accompany the, 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 the team. Um, so we use um, um, a guide that we take with us, a high mountain guide, but we also use a local guide because uh, it's absolutely critical um, that we have the safety of everybody um, uh, as, a, as a foremost um, you know, priority, let's say. Yeah. How can we find you on the website, social media? Uh, yeah, go to um, powdermad.com, it's as simple as that, um, and, and, and join us, join the tribe. Um, there is a, a join the tribe page, uh, if you um, register your details on there, you become um, a member of our club, and when we've got different trips that are coming up, we will, we'll send it out and we'll remind you. Um, we offer, as a member as well, we offer uh, discounts on various things as well. Um, yeah. Great. Well, thanks very much for coming into Ski TV studio, That's Mr. Great. Rhodes. And uh, guys, powder, powdermad.com. Powdermad.com. Powdermad yeah. Powdermad yeah. exactly. highly, highly recommended by Ski TV. It's a great uh, service. And uh, let's give a wave to all the Ski TV fans out there, mate. And take it easy. And uh, check out the guys. Something very different. And you'll never regret it. See ya.